My name is Chris Hansen, and I am a reporter. I plan to expose the city of good skins for what it is. And I will walk the road, the long and the lonely road to the awful truth. Today I will expose our viewers to the sick and demented world that a popular doctor in Good Springs leaves him. This man asked us to keep his identity safe and had this to say about Dr. Mischel. For the record, he never touched me. I think I hear my cat crying. The man known as Good Springs Spedler refused an on-air interview. So we took the interview off cameras, and this is what he had to say. Doc Mitchell isn't who you think he is. The man made me drink my own piss as a joke, and he did stuff to me, stuff I shouldn't say. <laughs> I woke up one day in the cemetery, in a shallow grave, and next to me were empty syringes and empty boxes of metats. My left side was stitched up, where my kidney is located, and my, I'd rather not say, you are not going to air this. No, go on. Let's just say I am now half the man I used to be. <laughs> what kind of person drugs up another and then cuts him apart? I can't talk about this anymore. Then there's this man. He allows us to have an interviewer with him. He claims to be an eyewitness to an awful crime. A crime so awful that only Doc Mitchell could have done. Yeah, I saw him pop some mint hats, and then he used a syringe on some guy right behind the bar. I don't want to say any more. I heard some guy named Rick buys body parts for caps. Rick is a regular in this bar. Rick refused to talk to us, and denied any allegations made about him, and told us he was a mechanic and nothing more. I will try to get an interview with the good doctor and hear his side of the story, that is where he lives, so I am told. Okay, here goes nothing. I am going to try to knock on his front door to see if he is there. Since he did not answer the door, we will sneak to the back to see if he is there. First, I think I hear something. My God, it sounds like a woman crying. What is going on in the house? No, that will not stop me from getting into that house. I couldn't find a gate, so I jumped the fence. What could this be? A victim perhaps? Or maybe some army? Damn, the door is bored up tighter than a dog's anus. I must find a way into that man's house, but how? I know I got it. I will dress one of my camera guys in a giant teddy bear sloop and send him with a hide on t I'd hear the dark as in the forest. Hello. Come in, my furry. 